Hi, I'm Annette Tikran, a professor of biology at Montgomery College. Today we are talking about the anatomy of the liver. The liver consists of two lobes. The bigger lobe, the larger lobe on the right side is the right lobe, and the smaller one, left lobe, the inferior vena cava. Let me turn over for you to see. This is the other side, the other end of the inferior vena cava. Here's the rail ligament, the gallbladder, the cystic duct, the hepatic artery, hepatic vein. Let me switch to a larger model for you to see more detail. So again, right lobe, left lobe, inferior vena cava, rail ligament, gallbladder, cystic duct, bile duct, hepatic portal vein, hepatic arteries, hepatic veins. So the function of the liver produces bile and the bile travels to the extensive bile ducts until it reaches the gallbladder and the gallbladder will store the bile here and also concentrate the bile until it is needed in the small intestine. The liver receives blood from the hepatic artery and the hepatic border vein. The blood from the abdominal aorta will go to the hepatic hepatic artery go to the liver and the deoxygenated blood supply the liver through the hepatic portal vein. So the, the uh, liver is unusual in a way that it receives both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood and the uh, toxic substances are taken up by hepatocytes here and then the hepatic vein will train the blood to the inferior vena cava. Let's review. The liver, right lobe, left lobe, inferior vena cava, gallbladder, cystic duct, hepatic portal vein, hepatic vein, hepatic arteries, rail ligament, inferior vena cava.